Special delivery! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back at it like a motherfucking crack at it today with a very special video from my brother, John Geiger, in the building. Round of applause in the building. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Before we get to this video, you see this is a little setup right here. Shoot me some ideas down in the comment section of what you think can go back here. You know, some pictures, some art, whatever. Just shoot some ideas down below and hopefully your nuts will grow. Today though guys, we have a very special package in from my brother John Geiger. Now if you don't know who John Geiger is, let me break it down for you a little bit here. Unless you've been sleeping under a rock, you know about the misplaced checks that dropped, well I think those things dropped back in like 2015, 2016, I'll make sure to have correction dates all on the side or whatever, but John Geiger is a very well known, and I would say my, you know, cause I mean, I know him personally, but he's still a famous designer in my, in my eyes. And he took the Nike Air Force One and placed misplaced checks on it. He worked with that along with the uh, shoe surgeon and he did the misplaced checks, which he dropped, I believe, I want to say three different colorways on that. It was a regular, the first version, then it was like another version. I want to say even like an all red version. It was a couple different versions of the misplaced checks that had dropped back in that time. But then off of that, John Geiger said, you know what, Nike? You ain't cutting the check, so it's time to cut my own check. So then John went and designed the Geiger One. Right here is the Geiger One. I actually reviewed these back 2016, 2017. I was out in Miami when I reviewed these. John sent these over to me in the orange colorway because he knows that I like the Tony Tiger and I am great. So he designed this shoe in multiple different colorways from the original black version to different colors and sways, leathers, and all the above. The Geiger One has sold out many, many times. And this is something handcrafted from him, designed in the USA, done right here. and somebody just doing it themselves no big branding no back and nothing just out of his own money his own pocket and you know an entrepreneur something i hope i can do and that's why i look up to john and appreciate him sending these over but right here we got something very very special so i'm not gonna lie i reached out to john I said yo john please i need to get a pair of them o2s man i need to get a pair of them twos on deck if you haven't seen the twos they've been around multiple different colorways in black we've gotten tie-dye versions we got the vault versions we got all black versions and we got some other samples he told me he sent me some particular that no one else got except for tiana taylor and mon shumpert the owner of the lakers and i believe for some oh uh odell beckham so damn, he said I'm gonna be making people a couple, you know, making a couple people mad. So it's time to flex, flex a little bit. I don't want kill to kill it too much. Ooh, damn, dude, I think I might scratch the box a little bit. Shit! All right, so yeah, that, that knife was a little too strong. Um, I didn't kill the box too bad, but it's a little, it's a little cut in there. Bam! So we got here the John Geiger box. Now these are supposed to be releasing in the month of May this month. The retail is gonna be around $350. They'll be on the site. I will link down John's IG, his Twitter, his website, and all the above. So you guys, you know, you guys can go and check it out because that's where he posts all his information. Right now, his website is down for maintenance and it will pop up for the release date. So like the site goes down and then when the release comes, it goes back up. So it's kind of like one of those, you know, pop-up shops on the internet basically. So you gotta be on top of it. Right here we got John Geiger. Right here we got John Geiger. Good packaging. I'm gonna let you guys see it before me, cause I don't even know what, I, don't, I told him don't tell me nothing, just send it. He said, all right, bet. So I don't know what we got. Okay, I know these are Geiger 2s. Got paper right here, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. All right. All right, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it too. I wanna make sure I don't put it on this candle and goddamn burn my whole damn house down. Woo, okay. I'm gonna just pull it all the way out. And now I'm gonna look at it. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo -wee! So these are the creams. These are actually the ones that I had reached out to him about. You know, I told him like, yo, I need those cream guys. And at the time, Paul, that sounded pretty cream pie. That's yeah, cream guys, cream. Yeah, it sounded. Yeah. So initially I had reached out to John because I saw him wearing these. And when I hit him up, I said, yo, John, what's the dealio with these creams? What's the dealio? He said, oh man, those are samples, but I got you, I got you. And a couple weeks went by after that, and I was just like, is there any update on them cream? No, oh, you know, I'm kind of trying to slither in there a little bit, you feel me? And he said, I got you, what's your address? He sent them on over. I didn't know if I was getting them or not because I heard these were samples. And then he told me later on that these were actually releasing in the month of May. 
Now these things overall, he told me that the dye that they used on this shoe made the material extra soft compared to the previous version. So this material is more, it's like a neoprene upper, but it feels more softer than other versions of the O2. And we have the zigzag pattern that everybody loves all around the ankle collar as well as on the toe box, the sole itself, and the lacing of this. It's like a zebra, zebra, zebra got them pattern going around, John Geiger on the back. And let me pull out the other one. Comes in a nice bag so you don't get it messed up. We got the other one right here, and this one actually has the hang tag on it. Wearing instructions, pull the front tabs outwards. Pull the front and back tabs outwards. Put fo foot and shoe, pulling on back tab. Shoe should fit like a glove. Adjust the back tongue, oh, uh, back toggle and laces if needed to be tightened. Walk on clouds. So it's very, very simple. But overall, this shoe is spectacular. Like I said, be releasing in the month of May. Not many people have had this shoe, so, you know, I can flex a little bit. I'm gonna definitely flex this shit out like it's no other day. And it pretty much kind of goes with this a little bit. But the overall cream of this color just makes it pop, makes the panties drop, and makes her wanna sit on the top of my jock. And yo, John, I wanna say really though, real talk, I appreciate the love and support, man, and I definitely, you know, I support what you're doing, your entrepreneurship, and what you're doing is amazing, man, because I know, this from dealing with clothing, how hard it is to get these moldings and how expensive this shit is, like to get them to make your own type of foot. To get this, guys, customized how you want it, it costs stacks. And to get it in one size, that's what I'm saying, stacks. So if you want to get eight, eight and a half, nine, nine, ten, with all that, that's like stack, stack, stack. So it, it costs so much goddamn money to do that. And then the fact that it's being made in the USA is why you're paying that premium price. It's just very expensive, but at the same time, it's all genuine products and it's made with great quality. So I applaud you, John. And um, there's nothing else to do but put them bitches on. So let go. These things are amazing, guys. Make sure you guys go and follow John Geiger. I will link everything down below in the description and let you guys know more about when they will release and all that. So make sure you go and follow him because he always keeps it up to date. And uh, thank you once again, John. I hope you guys appreciate this. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions. This is definitely something different than your typical Nike, Adidas, Jordan stuff, Puma stuff. This is something off the wall. This is man-made in the USA by a man that I met back in 2015. Normal guy like me and you. You put the grind in, you put the work in, and shit like this happens. 
and I can only applaud it. And I hope someday I can do the same thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Check out the videos right here on the side. Check out the channels over here. It's it some way, some, I don't know what, one of these ways is there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you slap a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and it's your boy Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in, I'm checking out, man. Peace.